Hey guys, Phil here, back at it again for another tutorial. In today's video, I want to talk about the OLAP and BLAP for my racing. Not a lot of people know that you can actually um, send those files to people so they can use them to their advantage. So I want to talk a little bit more about this and show you how you can um, put them on your iRacing and utilize them to their full potential. Basically, the OLAP and BLAP file are optimal lap and best lap. So what we can do with those is you can um, set it as your comparison lap. So you're gonna have the delta bar on iRacing that's comparing your lap to the coach's lap or the guy that sent you that file. And also I found personally for myself it helps me to find some times in little areas when I have somebody quicker than me that gives me that file. So let's go to the sim right now. All right, so the first step is going to be to download the BLAP and the OLAP. Um, if you get a coaching session with us, you're gonna have access to a drive folder which includes those files into that one. Um, and if you don't have a coaching session scheduled, like what are you waiting? You should, you should do it. Like it's, it's super helpful, doesn't cost a lot of money in terms of how much you can improve out of it. So you should, you should check it out for sure. Link's gonna be in the description below. But yeah, if we go back to, to um, the lab files or the BLAB and OLAB, I should say, you're gonna find them into that drive folder. So um, you, as you can see here, BLAB, OLAB, you can download both of these files. And then I'm gonna show you how to place them in the, the right folder. So the next step will be to place the OLAB and BLAB into the correct iRacing folder. So how do we do this? We can go into our download section on our computer, as you can see, I've just downloaded uh, the O and B lab files. I'm gonna click on Control C to copy them, or you can right click um, copy right here. And then we're going to Documents, iRacing, and you have lab files. So you can click on it. And then you need to find which track um, these, these files were in. So these were in Road Atlanta. So I'm gonna go into R. Where is it? We have Road Atlanta full, so I can double click on it. And then you'll see there's a bunch of file here. So only thing left, control V to copy them. These are my files, so I already have them, but um, from your point of view, you're actually not gonna have this problem. So I'm gonna click on replace the files. They're copied. Now I can see them in that folder. We can close that. And we're heading into iRacing right now. Now that we are on iRacing, we're gonna go into the option panel right over here. We're gonna click on that, and then we're gonna head to the option panel once again. In the split time delta, this is where all the magic is happening. We're gonna click on comparison. You can see there's a load button right here. You just click on it, and then you're gonna be able to um, find a lap that you want to compare it to. For example, these are my laps, but um, if I give that file to you, you're gonna see my name there so you can um, pick whatever file you need. So I'll take the OLAP. OLAP stands for optimal, BLAP stands for best lap. So depending if you wanna get the optimal lap time as a comparison or the best lap, you choose which one you like. So I'll take OLAP and then we'll click on open. So as you can see here, the file name is appearing. So we know that the, the, the lap is loaded in. Then the only thing we have to do is to click on the uh, session op lap or whatever you have here. Click on it and you need to set it to comparison lap. So once that's done, you're gonna have the delta bar set as a comparison to that lap in particular. Also something else you should do, you can turn on the delta bar. So when you go on track, you'll see that red and uh, green bar on top. It helps you know if you're quicker or slower in, uh, in the corners. So once this is done, you click on done, you click on test and you're ready to go. All right, so we are in our racing, coming up to the start finish. As you can see, the delta is gonna reset. So you'll see, um, it'll be green if I'm faster and red if I'm slower. This is a good way of knowing how quickly or slow are you. So now I'm like a 10 off in turn one. So this is it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. It helps us so much. So we're all done. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Other than that, We'll see you in the next video. Ciao.